Hi, it's Jen Cray here, and today I'm sharing a tutorial using the Shaker Creator dies from Tonic Studios. This is lunch number two, and this the one that I'm using today is the Gin Glass. So we're just going to pop aside that um, the small die, and we're not going to use the blisters. We're going to go ahead and cut out some watercolor cardstock um, with that die, and we're going to grab our uni pen. So this is a fine liner, which is uh, number two, and it's waterproof. And then I thought what we'd do, something a little bit different, is that we're going to go ahead and kind of make our own stamp. So we're just going to have a little doodle on this glass and we're going to just um, do an outline with it. I thought that would be fun and it also shows that these dies are a little bit more versatile than just using them as shakers. And there you have it. In a matter of a couple of minutes, we've added the detail on that die cut, effectively creating our own stamps, and it makes a huge difference. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just grab a stamping block and one of my Aquaflow pens, my Nouveau Aquaflow pens, and it's a matador red. I'm going to pop a little bit down. I'm going to add a little bit of water onto that block. Uh, grab a paintbrush and we're just going to do some loose watercoloring on this die cut. Uh, this is just to add that extra detail. So you'll want to repeat that same process again. So you have the two wine glasses there, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to build our card. So the card is A2, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. You want to make a couple matte layers, and on that top layer, you want to position your glasses how you want them, so you know where to put the stamp, remove them, and then you can start building up your card. It's very quick and simple, and it's really effective.
I hope this has inspired you to start thinking about die cuts in different ways. I've also got a couple more examples to show you using the same techniques. So grab your fine liner and give it a whirl. If you've enjoyed our time today, I've linked to a similar video, Stamping on Die Cuts, which is super fun and just as effective. Thank you so much for taking the time to visit me today. I'd love you to subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any questions, just pop them in the comments for me to see. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.